Well, hey Capricorn, welcome back to Peony Lore, where we help you to find the beauty in all things. This is going to serve for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the week of March 7th through the 13th. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm happy to be back. Apologize about last week. My computer took a dumper <laughs> um, and I wasn't able to restore from backup all of the videos that I did for last week, but that's okay. We're moving forward, we're pressing forward, um, and here we are going with your messages. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, what we do is we lay down seven cards for every single day of the week. We have a sacred geometry card and an angel card that kind of ties the overall theme together. Um, we do clarify, but at the end, we make sure that we do a special uh, pull for each of the houses. So Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, Capricorn uh, Rising at the end. And they include uh, this week uh, the Ask Angels. So you can pause the video when we get towards that part and you can ask a question. And of course we will uh, have an opportunity for you to see what's going on. So Capricorn, um, we always encourage you to watch your sun, your moon, and your rising in order to get the full picture. Take what resonates and leave what does not. We also are open to taking bookings. So if you are interested in a personal and private reading, assuming that you are resonating with the different messages that you see on this channel, then please take a look at the description box as it will have all of the information, um, all of the socials and the other contact information that you need to book in. So Capricorn, if you happen to have Taurus, Gemini, uh, Cancer, or even a little bit of Leo, this is where the moon is transiting into those different positions this week. You might also want to take a look at those if it's meaningful to you. If not, don't worry about it. But I will discuss the astrology um, as that is what I do. Okay, looking pretty interesting, my friends. Let's get Saturday and Sunday out here and then we will go into the details. That was fast. Thank you, universe. Hmm, interesting. And Sunday, please, for Capricorn. Thank you so much. All right, well, Capricorns, uh, what it looks like we've got going on is a little bit of healing and some heartbreak that's gone on in the past. Potentially, what I'm getting out of this is really relationship or family-based type of a challenge that has been going on here. Um, it doesn't have to be a private relationship. It could be a business partnership. It could be anything like that. But based on what I'm seeing right now, we have a situation where we are really understanding that there may have been some dramatics or some extra information that came to our attention that um, is leading towards a change um, in a relationship or a business relationship of some sort. We have the Six of Cups on Monday. We have the Magician in the Reverse on Tuesday followed by the Ace of Cups on Wednesday. Thursday is the Queen of Swords in reverse. Friday is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Saturday is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And then we have the Knight of Wands in reverse on Sunday. So again, what I'm getting out of this very specifically is that we are discovering that there's some sort of a situation that's stopping us a little bit um, it does look like it's been a significant type of a situation or a challenge. So let's just find out what else we can get for you. Let's start off with the Sacred Geometry card. And let's see what we have for our Capricorns. Let's see. I can tell you that Capricorn in um, Pluto is still in play. It has been and it will continue to be for several months. But those days where the heavier placements are for you Capricorn is really Tuesday and really when we get to the energy of Sunday so let's see what this means okay your sacred geometry yeah I was afraid about that well it is what it is guys um, we have a love relationship that uh, looks like it's getting ready to go through some significant changes is a catalyst card I do believe that this is the same card that uh, came out for, let me just go through my notes here because of course I recorded all of this different stuff down. I think this is the same card that happened to pop out for um, 
Scorpio and potentially Cancer as well. So again, if you've got any of those placements, you may want to slide and take a look at those as well. So we have this change that's happening with our love frequency, self-love, or a soulmate connection. Let's get our angel therapy card out to see what else it can uh, lend itself towards uh, the reading for you this week. Okay, well, that's interesting. So the card that comes out of the angel therapy is actually fairies, okay? And so um, it is stating here that you have a strong bond with fairies and that your life purpose could involve really helping Mother Nature. The other energy that comes out of the fairies is that when we need something um, to be brought into our world, we can also have this negotiation with the fairies in that they expect and um, support us with lots of different details from the outside, literally outside, okay? Let's go ahead and dig into what it is that we have here, okay? All right, Six of Cups energy on Monday. Now, this is interesting to me. The Six of Cups definitely has um, several different meanings, but the way that I'm seeing it here is that we are uh, potentially dealing with someone from our past, okay, that has popped up recently up until this particular moment. Um, it is lending itself to us realizing where our true happiness is and trying to go back to um, trying to feel good about a situation that has been going on, right? But let's go ahead and clarify. Let me move these over just a nub so that we can get full view here in the camera for you. Um, Six of Cups energy on Monday for our Capricorn. Let's see what we've got. Well, mm -hmm. we got the devil card in the reverse position. So Capricorn, there you are right in the middle of your reading here. I do think that you personally are healing from a situation. Someone from your past um, in your life has potentially created a negative type of a situation for you and you are going through this healing process. We have a lot of cards that just popped out. So give me a second to put them in order. Yep. We've got the Knight of Swords energy in the reverse position. We have the Ten of Swords upright. We have the Hierophant also and the Strength card in the reverse position. The Hierophant is upright. So literally, guys, what I'm getting is that you are releasing yourself from someone potentially an air sign, um, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. It doesn't have to be, but you are re you're releasing yourself from the energy of someone that was challenging a commitment for you. Um, you know, like I said, if this was someone that popped back into your world from a past relationship and you realized that you took some time to go through and re-explore, especially when we had um, Venus, in retrograde and Mercury in retrograde, this is the time where you're having to realize where your self-love is a, a critical part of what's going on for you. And the strength card in the reverse position staged right next to the higher font as we're talking about commitment is um, really trying to heal past this situation that we've got going on. Um, let's move on to Tuesday. We've got the magician in the reverse position. So very interesting because we do have uh, the energy of Mercury, which is the magician that is in play on this date in Aquarius, along with Venus and Mars. So we've got this aggressive energy and we've got this softer energy from Venus that's trying to come in here and have conversation with Mercury on this day, specifically while the moon is in Taurus in a trine with Capricorn in Pluto. Death and destruction and rebirth for Capricorn's best attribute, which is duty and moving forward um, persistently with the things that need to happen. So, uh, astrologically, this is exactly where it's supposed to be showing up for you. I have to just make sure that I tell you, though, um, because you have the moon in Taurus here on Tuesday, you are getting a little bit of support from your brother Earth uh, sign here and you have an auspicious opportunity at like 9.30, 9.35 um, in the morning, Eastern time, do the math backwards or forwards, depending upon where you live, where you can um, really have a conversation with regards to commerce, business, arts, networking, and all the other things that you might need to have um, to refresh and focus on at this moment. Let's get some clarifiers on the magician in the reverse position for you, okay? What we have is the moon card. Mm -hmm. 
Now in this position, um, especially with the devil, we are really looking at the things that are under the surface and perhaps you were dealing with someone um, that has a lot of mercury in their uh, chart, m the magician energy. Usually again, it's air, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. It doesn't have to be, but the moon is really shining um, and putting a lot of light on um, details that you needed to have. We got the sun that's showing up in the upright position and the sun is a restorative card you guys regardless of what position it comes into whether it's upright or reverse we are talking about um, it highlighting all of the details um, based upon what it is it's touching we're talking about restoring our energy yep we've got the magician that's uh, popping right out so this is closing this cap for me I can stop it literally right there um, you have been dealing with someone that uh, you had to let go for whatever the reasons, and that's fine. Um, but the universe is saying we're going to have this opportunity to restore your personal energy in this particular situation, right? So the moon is all of those beautiful things. We're, we're testing and we're examining loyalty, especially in this particular reading, and you are... Uh, moving past the challenge where I do believe that the loyalty of this relationship might have been tested. Um, uh, we will see if there's anything else that comes out of it because the moon likes to highlight secrets as well. So when we move into the energy of Wednesday, that is 100% the energy of the universe trying to restore with this gift of the Ace of Cups, right? Um, we definitely have Mercury entering into the sign of Pisces on this particular day. And of course, with the Sun in Pisces and now Mercury in Pisces, we are highlighting and we are pushing forward the emotional pieces of all the things that have happened. So to me, this is an opportunity to have a really good cry, but also it's also um, kind of getting yourself together so that you can start to dote on yourself and pour the energy that is available to you back into your yourself let's see what we have as clarifiers yep got the full card that's the energy of Uranus we want to move forward we got to move into this new direction then on top of that we have the high priestess in the reverse position she has revealed all of the detail that you need to know in this position and the two of Pentacles comes out here to give you this opportunity to balance whatever else has been a challenge for you right so literally it's it, it, we're like this is going to be a very short um reading i think because it's very it's very easy to read here this particular one with the queen of swords that's showing up here in the reverse position perhaps again this person is an air sign but what we're talking about at this point is coming a little bit more out of our logic and more so into our heart space that's softening up a little bit here uh, the queen of swords in the upright is very much off with her head as far as an attitude but it's because she knows exactly what's going on behind the scenes she can filter through and she can see all the bs that's happening but when it's in the reverse position we are definitely talking about softening our hearts up a little bit here um we're not so aggressive with things but there's the death card there's the scorpio major arcana that is popping in here talking about the fact that something must change and you know that we're dropping something we're getting the information we need to move forward and now we're ready with this death card to go through the transformation of our next level let's see what else we have on the death card what we have, my friends, is the star card. Okay, so actually this is really good because this is a healthy move forward. The star card, Aquarius Major Arcana that we have sitting here, is literally talking to us about moving forward and putting some wishes and wants out there. It's also another healing card that comes to us from the universe. Now, astrologically, we do have Saturn in Aquarius, or yeah, in Aquarius on this particular day when the moon starts to transfer and is in its position of Gemini, okay? Now, later on in the afternoon, just before lunch, um, the moon will change into the sign of Cancer. But for now, we do have this gorgeous trine, which is this meetup and this agreement um, between Saturn, which is our uh, ability to expand, figure out structures and boundaries and all those different types of things with Aquarius. How do we need to move forward? So the universe is agreeing on what steps need to be taken here. Okay, so we have two cards that are showing up. Again, a double, double uh, messaging here. Mm -hmm. With the Seven of Swords paired with the Chariot, what this is saying is you definitely need to be able to move forward in your life, right? So we have the Cancer 
major arcana that's sitting here, we are definitely talking about the Seven of Swords. Now, sometimes the Seven of Swords gets a bad rap also in that it is viewed as something that's being sneaky or people that are associated with this card being sneaky. That's not necessarily what it has to be. What it definitely means is that you have something very, very close to the heart and you really are trying to um, protect it to a certain level and protect your heart. And what the universe is saying is that it's okay, it's time to move forward and um, take what it is that you need with you, right? And if you feel like you need to protect your heart a little bit, that is a potential. It doesn't have to be the only uh, way that we are examining what's happening in this in this specific position. It could also be that there was this thought process about you realizing that something was going a little bit too fast and furious and it wasn't exactly hitting the mark for you. Because we have the three majors in a row, I definitely want to go ahead and clarify. Let's get one more card on this for our Thursday for our Capricorns here. Dang, we got the world card. <laughs> End of the old cycle, my friends, into the new cycle. So when we get to Friday, we have this energy of the Eight of Pentacles, and it's kind of hanging out in the reverse position. Okay, we have the moon entering into Cancer, so we've got a lot, a lot, a lot of water energy for the remainder of this week. Whilst you're going through and you are considering this chariot moving forward because we have ended up in old cycle, the universe is naturally giving you a break and allowing you to have a little bit of time to figure out next steps, right? The Eight of Pentacles in the reverse position is that you just, there's no work being done, literally. Um, and this is because there's been strong decisions that have been needing to make, that have been made. And then there we go, clarifying it exactly where I figured it would was, is the four of swords. It's the universe saying you need to stop. You need to go in and rest. You may not have a hundred percent of all the details that you need uh, available to you at this particular moment. So let's go in and let's rest. Let's have a conversation together. Um, four of swords is usually indicative of doing some deeper meditation. And it is also indicative of your spirit guides trying to get a hold of you and share details with you in your sleep in order to give you the next level of clarity that you need. So what we have capping that off is the Ace of Wands. It's in the sideways position, okay? So these little cards that are capping off in the sideways position means that you are in the middle of this energy turning, right? At least as the way that it's laying out right now. Um, and you need to be available uh, to understand that the Ace of Wands is also a gift. You get the gift of restoration as far as emotions is concerned. And now you're getting the gift also here of being able to move forward with this new passion. Okay. Let's go to the energy of Saturday with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse position. So listen, the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse position is definitely talking about the fact that there has been some trouble in paradise. We are not moving forward in the right direction. That is the Six of Wands showing us and validating that that's what's going on here whether it's family or a business situation because I definitely want to make sure that I'm honoring both of the different scenarios here um, we're definitely got some sort of a situation that is not working out and we are not moving forward the way that we thought that we would here we go with the wheel of fortune um, it is time for you to realize that you need to get your restoration back. We're giving you the information. Make some wishes. Listen to us about what it is that we can help you with so that we can start to change your wheel of fortune here. Okay. It is also very possible because I'm being told right now that some of you may have had an opportunity, an unfortunate opportunity to have been in some sort of a bad financial investment, which is kind of putting you off just a little bit. Let's go ahead and clarify this one more time. Beautiful. Five of Cups in the reverse position, actively in the phase of healing and letting this old scenario go. Let's go into the energy of Sunday where we have the Knight of Wands still in the reverse position. That's still, again, not a lot of action. This whole day, this whole weekend is a whole bunch of water, water, water. <laughs> Until the moon transits, uh, transits into the sign of Leo late in the afternoon, 3.30 or so Eastern the math again based upon your time zone if that is meaningful to you but let's see what we've got on this king of wands all right thank you so the first card out that we have is the emperor we've got aries energy then on top of that we've got the ten of cups presenting in the reverse position and then the final card that we have on this one is going to be the Ten of Wands. Okay, so for me, this is really just clarifying the fact that all you need right now is time and you will receive the clarity it is that you need moving forward. The universe is gonna help you here to try to get through this particular situation. But with the uh, major arcana of Aries sitting up here in the top, we are realizing that this level of 
organization, okay, or even physical organization, like a physical building or, uh, you know, uh, somewhere that you would report to work, um, even if it's a home-based type of a situation, there's something askew. It is affecting both the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, and usually these two can be synonymous, but you've got all tens that are sitting here on the ground. You've got the Ten of uh, Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, you've got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Wands. The universe is really encouraging you to take this time, go within, reflect on the different details because where there has been trouble in paradise here twice, especially with the emotional upset, right? You're finally letting yourself get out of this particular situation and you're taking this healing very, very um, um, seriously. You're taking this healing very, very seriously. So Capricorn, while it looks as though it's a little bit rough this week, I got to tell you that again, the biggest issue for you as you're getting over this healing from this troubling situation, this troubling past, this heartbreaking type of a situation that is very clear here, you do need to honor yourself with self-love. And this is the moment where you start to move forward and make those different decisions. Again, the fairies are just saying that you probably need to spend a little bit of time in your natural element, be grounded and, and you know, go outside, uh, commune with the flowers, nature. I realize that it's still winter in many places, but you might actually receive a little bit of benefit from nature um, and it will help you ground in these energies. Okay, so this is the point of the reading where if you would like to participate in the uh, different placements that we're going to do, I am going to do an Ask Angels. And so you can pause the video, ask your angel a question, assuming that you're resonating with this so far, and then we will continue. All right, so we're first going to start with our Capricorn Suns. We're going to pull a Black Moon Astrology, and then we're going to pull um, a Numerology, and then the Ask Angels. So let's start with our Capricorn Suns. What is the most important thing that um, is necessary for them to focus on for this week? Ooh, okay, let's see. Flipped over. There we go. Mm -hmm. So we have the energy of Virgo or the Hermit card. Okay. So technically we did not see the Hermit card present itself in the reading, but that's kind of where we're at. I'm going to really kind of give you the energy of Thursday and Friday. These are the two days where you know that things are getting ready to change. And Friday is the day where you're being told that you need to go in with rest so that you can get your mojo back here with this ace of swords energy. Okay, let's go ahead and get the numerology card here and see what we have to say for our Capricorn sons. Ooh, that was fast. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is about domestic harmony for some of you, whether it's business or family. That's exactly kind of what's going on here. We've gotten uh, a big change that needs to be uh, managed this particular week, and it is all resolved around your domestic harmony. Okay, now let's go with the Ask Angels card for the Capricorn Suns. Thank you. We have a couple of different cards that came out. First of all, very interestingly, the uh, Capricorn uh, angel answer first is that the situation will improve. The second answer on this one is look for a sign. And then it is also saying that there is an opportunity. So, like I said, you have choices here. Something upset you here in the past and you are trying to heal yourself out of this based upon the level of commitment or maybe non-commitment that you got from something going on here in the past. But you've got a choice here. Something needs to be balanced. Your energy in would equal your energy out. There is this cup of restoration that is sitting here. Again, we have the fool in the upright position wanting to move forward with all of the details that have come out of this situation. So I'm not saying it's dead, done and over with as far as how you want to move forward with someone, but the way that things were going on here is completely dead and done. So, but you do have an opportunity to try to consider what is most important to you here in this particular week for you. That's what I have for you Capricorn Suns. I'm gonna move these over and I'm gonna go into the Capricorn Risings. All right, universe, what do we have for our Capricorn Risings this particular week? Thank you. Okay, that's literally what I was just talking about. <laughs> Rising signs, we have the energy of Libra, the eye balance. Now, technically we didn't have Libra placed here either, 
But knowing that Venus is in play this week with Capricorn, Mercury, and Mars, I can tell you that this is what the universe is trying to do. They're trying to soften some things up again so that you can try to find a little bit more balance at, for moving forward. So again, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I feel are going to be the bigger days of the week for you to try to examine and take advantage of those changes that need to come afoot for you. Okay, let's go in with your numerology card and let's see what we have. Wow, love. <laughs> You're trying to balance where love is or is not in the air. Again, we're talking about love frequency for yourself. And this card would definitely say you definitely need to pour love and energy back into yourself. Reharmonize, right? You're being restored. You're giving an opportunity to be restored on a couple of different levels. And again, it looks like you are moving forward in a very beautiful way, okay? Washing that man or washing that woman or washing that energy right out of my hair is what we're doing. We're moving forward so that we can get back on this Wheel of Fortune moment and change some things. And your Ask Angels uh, answer is, woo, thank you so much. Hmm, reconsider. <laughs> there is another card that wants to come out here, and that card is for you specifically improving health. That's a very interesting combination for me because I have to tell you, um, pouring love into yourself doesn't just mean, you know, emotionally. It does also mean physically as well. And so if there has been a failing um, issue uh, as far as health is concerned, this would say that to me very strongly with the strength card in the reverse position as well. So there is restorative healing that is possible for someone in this particular scenario. Okay, so we're trying to balance out not only the love that we have for ourselves, but that is definitely including our improving health here. Okay, so that is what I have for our uh, Capricorn rising or ascendant, depending upon how you learned the terminology. And now let's go into the energy for our Capricorn moon. Okay, Capricorn Moon. Ooh, that was fast. Thank you. Um, okay, so the card that presents is the Taurus I Have energy. So like I said, the beginning of the week is where Taurus is trying to hang out in the wind and that's there. And that definitely 100% is the Hierophant that's showing up here. So it looks as though the Monday energy for our Capricorn Risings is going to be one of the heavier energetic days of the week. And uh, there are details here that you definitely need to pay attention to. Okay, let's go into your numerology. And the numerology that we have, there it is, environment. You have to consider your environment, whether that's work um, or business or whatever the case may be. Where's the balance in the situation again, all right? Consider the environment. What does it look like? What needs to be cleaned up? What needs to go? Um, get rid of old stuff if that's what you need to do, literally from a cleaning perspective, so that you can clear the air, clear the energy, okay? Let's move forward with your Ask Angels, and we will cap this off for you. If you've liked this video so far, please make sure that you give it a like, you share, and you subscribe. And again, if you're looking for personal, you can look at the description box and book in with me. Now, here's what we have from the Taurus perspective. The answer that we're getting from the angels is no need to worry. And how I am taking that, especially because this is the energy that you are releasing, you're definitely releasing yourself from some toxicity here. Um, there's not a lot of new communication that's coming in, but you are definitely deciding that something has to be completed with regards to a commitment, perhaps to your health also. Um, but there's lots of opportunities here that the universe is giving you to see that there is a way out and you are still releasing yourself from all of the other things that no longer belong to you. So there's no need to worry about your out come in this particular situation again at the end of the day heart chakra greens and pinks and those crystals that go along with the, the uh, with that theme there are gonna help you out this week so again Capricorn this has been sort of a heavy heavy reading for you this particular week and I have a suspicion that when we get into the energies of the next week and some change you will see some differences that are popping through and I'm the reason I'm saying that is because <clears throat> I do feel that with the other earth energies that are in here, like again, this Taurus energy is starting the role for you. But when we get into next week, we're going to have a little bit more support when it comes to um, the uh, Virgo energy that comes in from earth next week. I have a strong suspicion that that's what's going to take place. So anyway, thank you guys very much for allowing me to read for you. I love, love, love doing this. Again, do all the things. <laughs> 
like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and book a personal session with me if you would like to get into the specific energies with me, with you, with your angels and guides, so that we can answer any other questions. Thank you guys very much. Many blessings, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.